Well, no doubt about it. Over the next few weeks, most of us will be doing whatever we can to stay home and socially distance ourselves. But social distancing for many, especially the elderly, can lead to so social isolation, which takes a toll on both mental and physical health. We welcome Dr. Malika Marshall back now with some advice on how we can avoid feeling lonely, Malika, during what are some really extraordinary times. I know it's hard because more than three in five working Americans already report feeling lonely. And then you add to that the fact that people over 60 are advised to stay home as much as possible, as well as others. So many people will no longer be able to socialize with friends or family or participate in activities and hobbies that keep them connected and give them purpose. So what can you do? Well, social distancing doesn't mean you can't go outside to get some fresh air, go for a walk, sit out on the porch. And with these mild temperatures, soon, hopefully, we can do some gardening. You can have face-to-face -face interaction with friends and colleagues and family through FaceTime or video chat, or at least call others on the phone. You can set up texting chats with friends and family to stay informed on how others are doing. Stay connected on Facebook and Instagram, assuming, of course, that that doesn't make you even more anxious. Consider starting a virtual book club. I thought that was a great recommendation that I saw online and the rest of us really should think about our isolated neighbors and offer to run to the grocery store or to the pharmacy for those who can't leave their homes one other thing I thought of with young children you know we we criticize this a lot we try to limit screen time but if you have kids getting really antsy these days thank goodness for FaceTime and Skype and the ability to be on social media right maybe that's not right time to because limit so much 15 20 years ago we didn't really have those options mm -hmm. so we have a lot more modalities that people can use to stay connected grandparents with their grandchildren because we don't necessarily want grandkids around the grandparents so right. much right now so we're really lucky to have the technology that we have and I've heard so many parents say that's it I'm not limiting any <laughs> video games or screen time because we got to try to keep people entertained right Good thing we can stay connected. I'll be in your book club. You <laughs> that would be fun. The title, Malachi. Yes, thank no, you. Choose a good one. Thank you so much. Stay with us. Liam? Sign me up.